You mean humans can talk? Kids Place Live, real live radio for kids. The world's gone mad! Somebody's on the phone! <laughs> Hello, thank you for holding on the line. Dirk the Fourth and the Golden Chipmunk speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Dirk, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. How are you, darling? Good. Wonderful. I'm going to school right now. Oh, you're going to school right now? Uh-huh. Oh, very nice. Have you ever gone to school? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. I don't I don't go to school anymore, but, you know, I said, yeah, I'm a full-grown ad- adult chipmunk, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember my school days well. In fact, I'm thinking about going back to school, you know? Maybe, yeah. maybe learn a skill, a trade, you know? I need a career change. I need to stay yeah. challenged. What type of school did you go to when you were little? Well, I went to primary school, you know. I mean, it was a standard school, school, you know, where you go and you learn and the teachers yell at you and they, they chase you around and larger predators chase you up trees and, you know, you learn how to collect acorns and nuts and dodge larger animals and, you know, you get teased and the people make fun of you and then you're short and you're furry and then you become very insecure but then you develop a chip on your shoulder because you expect everyone to tease you and make fun of you so you become the aggressor and you start being mean to other people before they can be mean to you and then it's a sort of vicious circle thing where you want friends but you really don't have any friends because you've been so mean to people for so long that you expect everyone to be mean to you so you basically don't talk to anyone but the guidance counsellor and then you wind up in therapy at a very early age and you kind of regress into your music and your art and that becomes your resource, your solace. And you go through a black phase where all you wear is black and you paint your toenails black and your little claws black and you go through a golf period. And then eventually, you know, you, you grow out of that and you realize that you've missed out on some of the really important parts of childhood, but it's too late now, so you move forward. But you always kind of regret that, so you spend a good part of your adult life I'm trying to make up for that. It sounds like you had an interesting school year. Yes, yeah, that kind of a school. You know, it's just, it's just a normal, everyday school, basically. What yeah, about you? What kind of school do you go to? Um, I go to one where we don't have to run from bigger animals. Ah, well, there you have it. That's, you know, it's a new thing. New schools these days. You know, you kids, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> When I was a kid, ha <laughs> school was a lot harder, trust me. Ha <laughs> 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 I'll tell you. <laughs> Have you ever gone to college? <laughs> no, no, dropped out. I'd regret it. But that's what I'm saying. I might go back. That's what I'm thinking. I may go back and learn a skill, you know? Oh, that's what, yeah. I don't know what I should study there, really. It's difficult. I'm thinking something simple and straightforward like neuroscience or brain surgery you know i think i could do that i could see myself doing that you know yeah that'd be pretty interesting oh yeah i watch Grey's anatomy all the time so i think i could be good at that yeah yeah move over dr mcdreamy here comes dr mcfurry huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. well darling i hope you have a lovely day uh i'm gonna run all right okay uh, because uh, suddenly i feel um like crying so um we'll talk soon all right okay all right bye. ta-ta molly bye, bye. bye. <laughs>